Exercise is incredibly important if you want to learn how to use Photoshop even faster. I mean, you can keep repeating the same thing over and over again, but it's crucial to learn new stuff as well. That's why I created five fast and simple effects you can create in Photoshop. Let's start with effect number one, chromatic aberration. To do that, simply duplicate your image by selecting it and pressing Ctrl plus J on your keyboard. Then double click the duplicate to open up the layer style window. In here, simply disable the red channel and then click on OK. On your canvas, drag the top layer slightly off the original one. This will create an offset and will in turn make the chromatic aberrations visible. Amazing! Now, effect number two, a rain texture from scratch. I want to add a subtle rain overlay, but stock images don't always work because you don't have full control. Instead, go to the layer panel and create a new layer. Then set the blending mode of that layer to screen. Now go to the toolbar and grab the fill tool. Make sure the color is set to black and click on your canvas. You obviously won't see the black color because we've set the blending mode to screen. Next, go to the filter menu on top and click on noise. Then choose add noise. In this window, check the monochromatic setting. Then increase the amount of noise on your photo. Go back to the filter menu on top and find blur. Then blur more. Then go to image, adjustments and then threshold. Now simply drag the slider until you create spots like this. Next, go to the filter menu again and find blur gallery. Then click on path blur. Now drag the arrow to set the direction of the rain. You can even curve it a little. With the speed slider, you can adjust the movement of the rain. When you're done, click on OK and then if you want, you can add a little contrast to make the rain look deeper in your picture. There you go. Effect number three. Create a quick dreamy effect on top of your picture. First, duplicate your layer by selecting it and hitting Ctrl plus J. Then with the duplicate selected, go to the filters and then blur. Choose Gaussian blur. Increase it a bunch and then click on OK. Now in the layer panel, set the blending mode of the layer to screen. Then click the mask icon on the bottom. We're gonna paint away a part of the image. To do that, make sure the color is set to black and grab the brush tool. Then simply paint away the parts around their face. This will create a smooth dreamy effect on your picture. Effect number four, remove all the colors except for one. There are a few ways you can do this, but this one is one of the fastest. First, go to the adjustments tabs, then find hue saturation. Click the color picker and click somewhere in your picture. Now the random color you clicked will be selected in here. Then completely turn down the saturation slider. Now we're gonna remove the fades of the slider to make the selection more precise. Now click and drag it so that every hue is selected except for the color yellow. Then carefully tweak the slider until the selection is perfect. Again, there are a lot of ways you can do this, but this is just a quick and easy one. For effect number five, we're gonna learn how to put text behind an object or person. So to continue the lesson, click the video right here. Goodbye.